This is Africa you didn't know. In 1879, a British missionary named Robert Falcon witnessed something in Uganda that shocked European medicine. A successful caesarean section performed with precision, antiseptic care, and a survival rate that rivaled anything in Europe. The Banyoro healers weren't experimenting. This was a refined, systematic surgical procedure that had been perfected over generations. Here's what Falcon documented. The patient was anesthetized using banana wine. The surgeon's hands and the woman's abdomen were washed with alcohol. A single, precise midline incision was made with an iron blade sharpened to surgical quality. The healer controlled bleeding by cauterization, applying red-hot iron to seal vessels instantly. The uterus was massaged to encourage contraction and prevent hemorrhage. The incision was closed with iron pins and dressed with a paste made from roots with antimicrobial properties. The woman survived. The baby survived. And Falcon admitted in his report that the technique showed a level of surgical skill rarely seen in Europe at the time. But here's what breaks the narrative. European doctors in the 1870s had a maternal mortality rate of nearly 50% for C-sections. The Banyoro had mastered what Europe was still failing at. They didn't have textbooks. They had knowledge systems, passed down through surgical guilds, refined through observation, built on an understanding of anatomy and infection control that predated germ theory. This wasn't luck. It was science. African science. And they wrote it out of history because it threatened everything they claimed about civilizing the continent. This is the dossier. One truth a day until our history stands tall again. Follow the dossier.